everybody just wanted to do a quick video this is my take on insert buzzword okay just insert buzzword minuteman kit uh militia kit professional duty kit whatever you want to say this is my take on it um yeah so i'm gonna break it down break it down Go piece by piece so first off uh let's go over the uh main components and we'll dive into what is in them so the carrier itself is a mayflower law enforcement carrier uh the cummerbund is the ferro concepts three inch cummerbund with the carbon fiber uh rigid cummerbund or that's what it is we have the spirit of systems mark V. Spiritus Systems Jasta, the uh, IFAC Dangler, have a couple Eagle Industries pouches on each side. All right, now I will break it down. And break it down. Break it down. Show you guys what I have into each pouch. Before I get into that, uh, really quick, I just wanted to go over why this setup. Number one, I like this plate clear because it's slick. Um, it's very, very comfortable. As you can see, it's got this mesh padding on it. Um, it's a it's a comfortable plate carrier, and it allows me, especially with up, upgrading the Cumberland to the Faro uh, Concepts, to really build this thing out how I want it. I don't want anything up here anyway. I don't want it. I never have. Anyways, so I would rather have this as slick as possible. And I will kind of go into that here in a second. All right, now let me break this down. Break it down. This is the uh, bare basics of the fighting loadout. I'll get into more of the sustainment leadership stuff that I have in the loadout. But uh, the bare basics. Well, the bare necessities, the simple bare necessity. Three rifle mags, 30 rounders. Just kidding, YouTube. These are 20 rounders. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Um, radio, Bayfang, Bayfang, big battery, not much to it. IFAC, I got two tourniquets, one on the dangler, one still in the wrapper. A lot of, um, what should I say, bullshit out there about whether to keep it in the wrapper, keep it out of the wrapper, yada, yada, yada. You can find uh, whoever you want from whatever profession you want, SWAT, special forces, and they will all tell you different shit from person to person. Keep it how you're going to do it. Make sure it's serviceable. It's really that simple. Uh, just a standard IFAC, guys. Nothing crazy. Got your uh, needle D. Got your nasal pharyngeal tube. Gauze. Two hyphen chest seals. Quick clot. Tape. Nothing special, guys. And then a canteen because you need water. All right. That is the bare bones fighting stuff. Now let me go into a little bit of the uh, sustainment stuff. Sustainment slash leadership stuff. First bit of sustainment I actually carry on me at all times is an extra two mag pouch. This is a cry precision two mag pouch or blue force gear, I'm not sure. Uh, don't get on me for having mixed camo patterns because I just don't care, guys. But yeah, having a two mag pouch is good for a number of reasons. Number one, if you're a leader, you might need to carry more ammo. If you're a leader, your job is not to be shooting, but who knows? It's not going to hurt to have more ammo. Number two, if I just need to carry something else, some other mission essential piece of gear that can fit in there, uh, I'll get into this to a little bit later. I don't really have uh, that need right now, but it's never a bad idea if you got spare molly, put on a, a, a two mag pouch. It doesn't weigh that much, and you never know when you might need it. Here in my uh, M60 ammo pouch i have a my night vision with a j arm just a pvs 14 unfilmed white foss and the big thing that you need to get is a uh, night vision protection insert these are by eagle industries you can get off get them off ebay for shit i got this for like 10 bucks not even joking guys it's it's like a hard foam it's going to protect your night vision you don't want to be taking bumps and shit on this all right it's expensive you don't have the money to lose it so that what goes in that quick this is how i how i tie it down i'll insert a video but basically this clips in directly to my helmet i'll insert a video right now 
That's simple, guys. Now you got your notch dummy corded. This is my sustainment slash leadership piece of it. So obviously, I got my admin book here. Got two notebooks in there. A uh, bunch of pen or a bunch of map markers, pens, pencils, mechanical pencils, all the stuff you need. Uh, also in there, I got my uh, quick reference, some quick reference stuff. So I got nine line medevac. I got a range card, got a couple other thing. Uh, you need bump cards for your guys. If you don't know what a bump card is, I'm going to go into some of the more admin stuff in the future. But you need bump cards. You need your guys' information because what's happened when they take a bump, you need to get them somewhere. Cool, you got them medevac out. Now what? Now where are they going? How are you going to tell their next to kin? You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's kind of the admin piece I got. Next is signaling. As you can see, I got a lot of signaling. If you're going to be in any type of leadership role, you need to have the ability to signal. So I got a couple ways. I got a foxtail. Uh, this is taped around here. Just rip, rip this tape off. This uh, 550 cord, about five feet long, just swinging around like that. You're going to be able to signal. You don't got night vision. You're going to need, uh, even if you do have night vision, you can use them. But if you have night vision, you should use IR. But if you don't got night vision, you're going to need some type of um, non-IR chem lights. Have a laser. You can get these off eBay real cheap. As you can see, I got some stupid filter I just had to buy on there because I have no self-control. But yeah, these lasers, great for signaling, shift fire, lift fire, hit this target, whatever. These will go for fucking miles. You can get them off eBay. There's no way that's a legal laser. That thing, I have put it to probably 12 miles out before. Like, it goes forever. Uh, VS-17 panel, cut down. You always need one of these for signaling. You could rig it up real quick while you're doing uh, an op order. Have this be a flaming rock. Toss it. Just another way to signal. Uh, lastly, for signaling, I got the Enola Gay smoke grenades. They're real good. Sorry, not lastly for signaling. Because the old tried and chew whistle always need a whistle so for signaling as you can see i got quite a bunch of different ways to do it but you could be signaling a lot of different things guys so it's not as simple as oh i have my pace plan i got my primary alternate contingency and emergency will just scream well it's not really that simple because you're gonna have to shift more than one thing and you can't be repeatedly using uh, a bunch of different things all right let me put some of this stuff away and then we will go a little bit more into the sustainment piece a little bit more of the sustainment piece. So, number one, got to have your batteries. Got four double A's, four triple A's, two uh, CR one two threes. I don't have spare batteries for this. We'll get into this in a second. So, in this front pouch, I keep a headlamp, all these batteries, and a compass. I'll have my GPS on me, but I always keep a compass on me. All right, now let's get into this. So, always have a Gerber. Okay, you never know when you're going to have a stuck casing. Good luck getting that out with your fat fingers, especially if you're like me. You got big old chunker hands. You need a Gerber. Keep a Gerber on you. It fits in a fucking two mag pouch, okay? This one's broken. You don't need to go buy new gear every time it breaks, guys. All right, let me put this stuff away, and then we will get into the RH-25. As one thing I forgot to mention, I keep my protractor in this top admin pocket. The reason I do that is I've tried keeping protractors in every every which way you could think of i've tried keeping them in stuff like this they always get bent up if you have something like this where you can keep it flat up against a hard surface i.e your armor your body armor you know your plates do that because that will keep it from breaking okay there's no good way to do it you're not going to protect it from the you can put it in a little baggie and put it in here i just put it in there that's the best way to do it now the rh25 don't get on me for not having this dummy corded, all right? I know I need to get it dummy corded. But this thing sits right here in my top pouch. It sits right there because I'm pulling that thing out and I'm scanning. Just scanning left and right with that pretty much nonstop. Now, what I would probably do is I would have a lanyard. And I would just keep it around my neck to where I'm not keeping unzipping and uh, zipping up that pouch. You know, you don't want a lot of noise and light discipline. But with that, you know, it's a little bit more exposed to the elements, a little bit more battery life usage, especially in the cold, stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, that is my take on kind of a Minuteman loadout, if you want to use those nerdy terms. But, yeah, uh, just so you know, if you're going to give me some advice on what I should add, what I shouldn't add, I just don't care. Um, I'm not some type of elitist or anything. But I just don't want a bunch of people coming on here. Oh, this is what you should do. Yada, yada, yada. This is what I saw so-and-so do. I'm not so-and-so. 
all right? I generally don't care, guys. Um, at the end of the day, none of this fucking matters, okay? I just wanted to put this video out. If you get anything away from it, cool. If not, you know, cool. You can always give me advice. Just know, I'm probably not going to take it. I'm hard-headed and a little bit of a fucking idiot, okay? All right, let me pop this bad boy on, and I will show you guys kind of what it looks like. What's up, guys? So as you can see, this is the loadout. Forgive the sweatpants shorts, okay? I like to be comfortable. I got work around the house to do. You're being held up by a steel chainsaw right now, okay? Give me a fucking break. Uh, number one thing I would like to say, I see all the time on YouTube, tape up your fucking straps, guys, okay? I know it can be hard to remember, especially when you get new stuff, but tape up your straps. You don't want to be looking like an octopus getting hanged up on stuff. Um, some stuff I'm thinking about changing. Number one, this pouch. Sticks out a good bit, okay? That's not a bad thing, that's for, uh, necessarily. You can shove a lot of shit in here. That's a good thing and that's a bad thing. Because me, like everybody else, if I have room for shit, I feel like I need to put shit in there. Um, some stuff that would come out of here, it would be going into my uh, shoulder pockets. Your first line gear, it's just your worn gear, guys. It's stuff you have to have on you. Uh, would definitely be the notebook, so that would free up a lot of space and uh, condense it down. But yeah, I, I genuinely like to keep my arms as free as possible. It is hard once you start putting on all your sustainment gear, which is what you need, guys. Like all these loadouts you're seeing where they got three mags, an IFAC, and that's it. That's not, it's not a real loadout. It's not. You need sustainment shit. You need water. You need ability to signal. You need all that stuff. You definitely need a way to fucking com communicate. Because shoot, or shoot, move, and communicate... The last two are far more important than fucking shooting. You just don't realize it. All right. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. If you want to test your gear, here's what you do. You put it on and you jump. Shouldn't be making that much noise. If you're hearing rattling, if you're hearing a bunch of jingling, you need to tighten your shit up. Okay. You need to be using your molly webbing, weaving it in and out, not just putting it through all the way through and clipping on there. You look stupid. All right. Um, smoke grenade. Why is it on the right hand side? Why is it on my shooting side? Well, if I throw with my left hand, I throw like a fucking girl. So, keep it on my left hand side. And if I have to throw a hand grenade, I'm putting my rifle down. I can't think of any scenario where I would need to throw it and fucking shoot. So just, it's on the right hand side. That's why. But yeah, just want to show you guys kind of what it all looks like together. Back's completely slick. So yeah, there it is guys. Nothing too crazy. Forgive the skinny arms. I'm working on it. But yeah. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.